You guys, City of Stairs is the best fantasy spy thriller about a diplomat with a pirate secretary that I've read all month, without a doubt. Hello, book people. P.T. Hilton here. I am here to talk to you about City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett. First of all, I love this cover. You may have seen this cover before. It's been around a while, but I love it. And I love that when they went for the paperback, they didn't change the cover. They kept kept this cool cover. I think this is the cover from the hardcover, right? This is a fascinating book, and uh, I don't want to talk too much about the plot again. I'm just going to give you a quick look, um, quick take here. I think it was Stephen King who said, good books don't give up all their secrets at once. This is definitely the case. You can't go too far into this book without ruining some of the surprises, because there's, there's revelations all throughout this book, and I don't want to ruin really any of them. But I will give you the basic setup. Basically, it's this country that uh, formerly had gods, actual living gods in the country, who were kind of like taking care of the people. They were um, providing magical items all over the place. Um, everyone had teapots that never ran out of tea, all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't, not that that was like the best example of something crazy, but you know, the miraculous was part of everyday life. And they oppressed uh, another country. The, we'll call that country number two. Uh, they oppressed country number two for a long time. Country number two eventually ended up um, killing their gods. And now country number two is kind of oppressing the first country, the country that formerly had the gods. And they've outlawed any discussion of these gods, any acknowledgement that these gods ever existed, any worship of these gods. A historian comes and to study some stuff and ends up getting murdered. And so country number two sends a person who is technically a diplomat. Her name is Shara. She is our main character to investigate this murder. And it's the story of her investigating it. I mentioned her pirate secretary. She has a secretary who is basically this really big, strong, fearless, tough guy named um, Sigrid. And he is really cool. He's like from this like nation of pirates. And uh, he's just a great character. I love Shara. I love him. I love the way that they handle this story. You know, fantasy and crime fiction are two of my favorite genres, so it's really cool to see them put together here. And one of the best things about this book is just the high quality of writing. Robert Jackson Bennett is a wonderful writer. He can craft a sentence like nobody's business, and he does a great job here. This book is written in the present tense, which isn't something I always like, but I feel like for this book, which is, you know, has like kind of a procedural element of trying to investigate this crime, so uh, it could has the potential to be a little slow at times. I don't think it was. And part of the reason that I think it really uh, worked was because of that present tense. It really drove the narrative along and made everything feel more immediate. There are some amazing scenes in this book that I really wish I could talk to you about, but I don't want to spoil anything. But let's just say Sigrid has a pretty epic, awesome um, battle at one point in this book that will stick with me for a long time. And the ending of this book very much worked for me too. Um, the way that the kind of mystery is resolved, worked great, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the second book in the series, which I think is called City of Blades. That is City of Stairs. If you've read it, I'd love to know your thoughts. I will talk to you next time. Bye.